Radio Internet. <clears throat> uh, let's see, where are we going to go this evening with this talk? I think it's high time we discuss something quite important. Quite important to gamers. Quite important in general. And the topic I have chosen is Aid Certification on Gaming. Now, classic scenario, I'm sure most of you out there have seen this on at least one occasion. Say you're in, oh I don't know, a large department store or even a small store like the game. And, I like the game actually because they're really careful, they know what they're doing. Scratch that. <laughs> nope, don't want to get libelled. Um, yeah, so you're in a large department store and you see somebody who's picked up a game like Grand Theft Auto or well anything really 18 certificate and what you have is you have a parent buying the game for their child who is NOT 18 this annoys me for a multitude of reasons one this child should not be having these games. It's got an 18 certificate on it, which means there is content in there that is not suitable for that age group. I mean, if you have an 18 certificate movie, you know, like a horror film or an action film where a lot of people get bloodied and fucked up, then... You know, you don't show that to a younger child. But for some reason, there seems to be this sort of like blinkered vision when it comes to, well, it's just a game. It's not just a game. It's an interactive medium. That means that the participant in the game, i.e. the player, has to actually make these things happen. Now, yes, okay, it's virtual. And, you know, even though you can have really great graphics and even better graphics to come this next generation, the fact of the matter is, you know, people get sucked in and, you know, it's part of the illusion. There's, a, there's something we gamers have and we like it a lot and it's called immersiveness. Now, when you get immersed in a game, it doesn't matter how much your logical part of your brain goes, hey, this is just virtual. You get a high, you get an adrenaline high out of this. Your brain reacts to these situations, which is brilliant, because that means the game is doing its job, and your brain is doing its job, and you'll have a great time, and you'll have a good game. Brilliant. Downside of that is, kids haven't learned. Their brains have not developed enough yet to be able to handle the situations in some of these games. So, like saying Grand Theft Auto now, uh, spoilers if you're not at least a third of the way through Grand Theft Auto, um, I'll put my hand up and I'll keep my hand up until I'm finished making the point about Grand Theft Auto and then when my hand goes down, you can keep spinning through seconds of the video on silent and then that way you won't hear the spoiler, okay? Right, here comes the spoiler. There is a, there is a mission in Grand Theft Auto 5 where Trevor has to perform a torture scene. Now, this torture scene is very well put together. The gameplay mechanics are really nice. It's visceral, to say the least. It is brilliant. It's really well done. You really properly feel like you're doing something in the game. But I wouldn't let a child play that or even let a child see me playing that. I mean, I love my little boy. But I wouldn't let him see me torturing some dude. You know? He doesn't get to see me play violent video games. So a torture scene done by Trevor to let Michael shoot some other guy with inf for information. That ain't happening. The spoiler bit is now over. You can come back to the video, those of you who haven't got at least a further way through Grand Theft Auto 5. So... 
as I'm saying, you know, there's adult content in these games. So why the fuck are you buying it for a child? Seriously. You know. You look, put it this way. Do you give a porno to a ten-year-old? No. Do you give a slasher movie to a ten-year-old? No. These things are 18 certificate and above sometimes. Alright. If something's got 18 on it, they're not supposed to have it. Point two. Alright. When I was growing up, right, I couldn't get my hands on things that were not meant for my age group. My mum wouldn't have stood for it, but, you know, it just wouldn't have happened. And it's probably better for it because, you know, if you don't have nothing to expect and nothing to want, then everything just comes to you and comes to you then you don't have the value of anything. You know, if you don't go, oh, I wish I could play that thing, but maybe someday I'll get to, then when you are of an age where you get to, it means more. It's a bit more special, but if all just comes and happens and that's it and it's all la di da then there's, there's no meaning to it anymore for you. Just, oh, there's that game I want to play. It doesn't matter if people get eviscerated and... There's language and there's sexual content. It doesn't matter, even though I'm only, like, 11. Because Daddy will just buy it for me anyway. And I'm a parent, all right? And I'm not saying I'm the lord of parents and I know everything. But the fact of the matter is, I have a child that's nearly four years old. I love him dearly. But I wouldn't let him watch me play a violent video game, let alone play one himself until he's of the age that's on the box. You know, when he's 18, if he wants to play, I don't know, whatever it is then, like Grand Theft Auto 12, you know, then more power to the dude, you know. That's if they still have games consoles. I mean, you've read, if some of you might have read my tweets and stuff and you know my thoughts on this and what I've said in the PlayStation blog, but I'll leave that for another video. You know, if there are still games consoles and there's still Grand Theft Autos or whatever, or whatever games exist at that point, if they have content that is meant for somebody 18 and above, then that's who you sell it to. Now, some, you know, all the companies that make these games and sell these games and market these games understand this and they work within the law. But some people seem to think they're above the law. Well, you know, I'm buying this game. I'm buying this game for my kid because my kid pesters me for it and he wants it. That's... Ah! Make my brain hurt, people. Come on! Show a bit of common sense. You know? I mean, children only get to be children so long. And these last sort of 10, 15 years, there has been a marked decline in kids just getting to be kids. You know? I mean, just let a child be a child. You know? You only get one shot at life. You get one go around. You know? Let kids be kids. Let teenagers be teenagers. Let 20 people be 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever. Let people be people. Let them have what they had at the time they're supposed to have it. You know, don't try, I mean, the, our media is forever over-sexualizing everything. I mean, no wonder you look at wee lasses wearing makeup and trying to be like the, the singing skinny pop starlet on some cruddy reality show because they think that's what they're supposed to do. No, if you're an eight-year-old girl, you know, you're meant to be playing as an eight-year-old, you know, regardless of sex, you know. If a little girl wants to play with trucks or wants to play with dolls, same for a little boy. If a little boy wants to play with dolls or play with trucks, fine. Let them. It's about growing up. It's about experiencing. It's about becoming an individual. Right? But, you know, obviously a parent has to make a decision. You know, if, you say, your child, you have a kid who's maybe 16 and is quite adult and their approach for a 16 year old right? 
and they really want to play Grand Theft Auto and you've discussed it with them and they dis they understand a lot of the I the, a lot of the concepts within the game, a lot of the adult manner, including the language. I mean, let's face it, in, the, in Grand Theft Auto Five and a few other games, you know, especially Five, especially Grand Theft, you know, they drop a lot of MFs and a f quite a lot of N bombs. Okay, but these N bombs and M and MFs, they're in a context. Okay, they're in a a character-driven so social box that is for that experience when we're talking about gang related areas in a mocked up version of los angeles okay this kind of language goes on in real life in these sorts of places so the game is portraying that in a relatively accurate fashion as much as it can do you know to still get past the centers and so on but anyway so you have a 16 year old kid and he wants to play it. If he wants to play it, then quite frankly, you parents and me, if my boy would got to 16 and there was a game like that, then what you do is you play it with them or you're there at least while he's playing it. So at least then you can monitor what's going on and see what's happening. And then if an issue arises where there's something you think you need to give a little bit of your life experience to and parent the situation, then that's what you do. You know, you go, okay, dude, right, you just saw that thing in the game. Now, we've talked about this stuff, but do you have any questions about it or is there anything you need to know? Or, you know, just so that the kid doesn't think that they're just being left to their own devices. And But on the same hand, you don't want to, like, overpower the kid. You don't want to be going like, well, I'm going to be here while you play this game and you will have no fun because I am watching the game. No, 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 no. Parenting. <laughs> you know, it's not just a concept or a word. It's part of your life. When you have, when you create another life, you have something you have to look after. Your child. Your child is important, okay? Your child is going to grow up to be a part of society. Society is important because society is all of us, right? Not just gamers, everybody, okay? So we have to look after each other, right? We look after each other by looking after our kids. Our kids grow up and they look after each other and everybody looks after each other. We all need to have each other's backs in this world because this world is fucked up, right? So in a nutshell, right, if you're going to buy games... Make responsible decisions! Okay? That's all I'm asking. If it's an 18 year old game and you have a 12 year old kid, just don't go there. Okay? Don't give the newspapers another reason to go, burr, 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 our computer games are corrupting our youth. Burr, burr, burr. You know? Because they never say, they never say that about films, because films are an established media. Films have been going for a really, really long time, right? Theatre has been going a really, really long time. All these mediums have, ha have had and will have and continue to have explicit material in them. Video games are following suit. They're an entertainment medium just like these are. The only difference is gaming is an interactive medium. That means you control the game, you control the action. Sometimes, you know, you have to control the action in a prescribed manner to move the narrative forward. Okay? But that is the whole point. It's interactive. It's you moving it forward. So that's what makes it different. Okay? Whew! Right, rant over. Anyway, this is Zen Bloke. With my usual signing off. Aye! Nay bother. Catch you next time, guys.